Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Uh, Our devotion for today is on the fruits of the Spirit, patience this time. We'll begin with our hymn, Let Us Ever Walk with Jesus. Let us ever walk with Jesus, follow his example pure. Through a world that would deceive us, and to sin our spirits lure. Onward in his footsteps treading, pilgrims hear our home above. Full of faith and hope and love, let us do the Father's bidding, Faithful Lord, with me abide, I shall follow where you guide. Let us suffer here with Jesus, and with patience bear our cross. Joy will follow all our sadness, where he is there is no loss. Though today we sow no laughter, we shall reap celestial joy. All the comforts that annoy shall give way to mirth hereafter. Jesus, here I share your woe. Help me there your joy to know. A reading now from James chapter 5. Be patient, therefore, brothers, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth, being patient about it until it receives the early and the late rains. You also be patient. Establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord is at hand. Do not grumble against one another, brothers, so that you may not be judged. Behold, the judge is standing at the door. As an example of suffering and patience, brothers, take the prophets. Who spoke in the name of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Uh, here uh, is a, a lesson on patience. Uh, one of the things that I think we got to remember when we're talking about the fruits of the Spirit is to remind ourselves that so often the fruits of the Spirit are cultivated in a very practical way. It's always through the Word. God always sets His Word before us that we might believe upon it and and hold fast to it and and grow in all these fruits of the Spirit. But He often kind of uses uh, the the events of our lives to help us to grow in our faith and to grow in the fruits of the Spirit that He gives, these fruits of faith that come from having faith in, in God the Father. And one of these uh, that he helps us grow in is patience. And the way that he helps us grow in that is by putting us in situations where we need to have patience. <laughs> and then teaching us in those moments when we need patience to then trust on, in our Lord and on all of his promises. Right now, he's put us in the midst of the coronavirus. And he's telling us, have patience. Be patient. Trust in my promises in the meantime. Know that I am going to provide for you. I'm going to care for you. I'm going to to, uh, watch over you. Your sins are forgiven. You have my favor. Have no fear or worry about that. Only learn a little patience here through through what I'm giving you at the moment. And so that is what he's teaching us. He's teaching us patience. And it is a gift from the Spirit to have patience, to, to wait patiently for our Lord and His, uh, and His, uh, His blessings and His gifts. And, uh, and when we do, we're never disappointed. When we do wait patiently for the Lord, the Lord says He always delivers those who love Him, those who cling to Him. He's always watching over them, and He promises that great deliverance in the end. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, in the midst of this coronavirus, you, we pray that you would continue to give us patience uh, in the midst of all that we have to endure. Help us to trust in your word and in your promises that you set before us, that we might always uh, lean on you and learn the patience and that quiet waiting that you desire for us. This we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. 
And with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah.